Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we're checking uh, two boxes from Small Rig, which probably will replace this light. Let's check. Okay, so we have pretty much a lot of stuff here, and let's move the lights away for a moment. We have uh, this, so this uh, is a small rig RC60B COB LED video light. This is a new light, and actually I'm happy that I got it on time. So we have here a handle, quarter inch screw, and quarter inch screw on the other side, so we can connect it to a tripod or whatever you want, whatever you need. Um, pretty much it's sort of an extender with a pretty good grip. We, put this. Uh, we have here a cable, not sure which one it is. USB-C to USB-C, that's a short one, I have no idea why we need this, oh I know why we need this short one, you'll see it in a moment, I guess, yeah I guess we'll put it back. Honestly, I have too many USB-C cables, but the other one, which is this one, it is USB-C to USB-C, but this is a hack long cable, and that's to power it on. That's a cool thing. So, uh, we have another handle that uh, this one is for a light stand and I'm going to use this, uh, that's for sure. I see here some pass through that I guess you can connect something else to it. Honestly, uh, this is a pretty advanced uh, connector, at least for what I've been using so far. We have this thing which is the basic reflector, but um, I'm not fully sure if we need this or not and you'll see in a moment why. And we have uh, this thing which will connect somehow and hold either a V-mount battery or a power bank, which uh, for me is very convenient. I can pretty much power it with a power bank. And yeah, as you've noticed, uh, the only port you'll need is USB-C, finally. And that's actually one of the reasons that I really wanted this light. Uh, let's look a little bit here. We have a cover here and this is the LED itself. Pretty cool. And again, this is up to 60 watts. Uh, here we can see a few things, so basically here's your uh, connector, I guess we can even place it if needed. There is uh, some drills inside for uh, cooling and this has a fan which is up to 23 uh, decibels as far as I remember in terms of noise, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, honestly, I don't really care uh, because uh, I'm using a, a special microphone which should be normal for this. This is 60 watt LED light and it has a kind of cool options uh, to it. So first of all, it can uh, last up to 75 minutes uh, in echo mode. I'm not fully sure what is an echo mode, but we'll have to figure it out. And it will last on full power for 45 minutes, which is awesome to be honest. It is only 650 grams. You know what? Let's go ahead and actually try to check this right now. Let's bring the weight. Let's turn it on. Maybe we should reset now. And put this thing. And you see they are actually lying because it's 685 grams. Uh, I mean, for me it doesn't really matter, but it's quite funny. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, because nobody will use just uh, this thing as is and that's it. You can see here that uh, we have the echo button, the input, on off. And here we have two knobs, int and fx. Yeah, it does have some effects, but honestly, I cannot care less about those. We have a CCT and frequency and a mod button, which I'm not fully sure what that means. Yeah, that's pretty much it. On top, we have uh, this thing, which I guess is to connect what I'll bring in a moment. And here in the back, we can connect uh, this adapter somehow. Uh, honestly, again, I'm not yet sure how it connects, I guess. Yeah, there are some knobs there, and there are some knobs here, which, oh, okay, now it's connected, and you can uh, put your V-mount or your power bank here, and as you can see, the three buttons here, they are still usable, <laughs> that's awesome. Now, in terms of the fan here, so this is the fan that I've been talking about that gets up to uh, 23 decibels of noise. If we look more about the features and the performance of uh, this light, it can get up to 
54 300 looks at a distance of uh, 0.5 meters and on 5600 Kelvin. And in terms of Kelvin, it goes from 2700 K to 6500. So that's quite cool from uh, over warmest light to the coolest light. Anyways, we have another box to open. And you can pretty much see what it is. It's this thing. I've never used something like this. Actually, it's the first time that I'm opening this box. With the light I've already seen, this is totally new for me. It weighs almost nothing, that's for sure. It comes in a sort of a pouch, case, whatever you want to call it. And let's see what we have here, because it seems like we have a few things. I guess this is the sort of panel that will cover it. And this will connect with this. This is a Velcro. Hope it's not too hard to install this. And this, let's grab this. This is uh, a sort of umbrella that will connect. I guess I'll need to check how to connect it because honestly, this is the first time that I'm using something like this. And by the way, the model for this is RA minus B30 mini. I quite like how it looks, but honestly, this is the first time that I'm trying something like this. So let's go back to the light. I think it has a little of charge and we can at least try to open it and see uh, how much light we'll get. So one of the button switches there, a small rig V101. Rotate the int button uh, to button one turn to power on, one turn. The int button, one turn, what does it mean? One turn, I'm not sure. Yep, okay, it's on. It shows uh, four hours like this. Uh, we are on CCT 2700K. Uh, so it's uh, very warm, as you can see. And let's try to see what we can get here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We are currently in 100. Uh, if we press, I'm not sure what it will give me. It seems like, oh my God. Why did it go even more higher? And as you can see, we now have 0 0.8 uh, hours. What about this? Okay, so we can make it cooler. Actually, it's a very cool light, but honestly, it's even annoying now. I don't know why we have like two mods. Oh, we just jump between them. Okay. And this will also, okay, got it. So it just pretty much uh, jumps between them. Give it something like this for a moment. Uh, what is the mod? Oh, so we have uh, effects. Honestly, I don't really care about uh, the effects. We have some weird things. This is probably flash. We can dial up the intensity and frequency and things like that. Honestly, I don't really care about that. Uh, we have here the echo mode. Let's press the echo mode. I'm not fully sure what. Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I think it's now an echo mode, but maybe I need to hold it. Not sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, now it's even got brighter. Uh, let's try now the 100%. This is really bright. I can't even talk normally right now. Uh, it does get hot here. If uh, we'll turn around a little and check the fan, I can hear it and I can even see it. And let me grab my microphone. I hope it will not clip. Actually, not. I can bring the second microphone probably. Give me a moment. I mean, we are using the Lanzi wireless microphones. I shouldn't go so close. And we can pretty much connect this microphone. And it, it won't use now the noise cancellation, but let's see. You can hear it, right? So, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's an awesome thing, right? And yeah, let me uh, turn off this thing right now. Now, uh, it's cool. We can actually uh, dial it all the way down. Pretty much turn off the light while uh, this one is still on. That's quite cool. And if we we'll press it, we'll go to oh, 66, 133. Now, I want to be on 100 for a second and press the echo. I, yeah, the echo you need to press and hold. It gets a little bit less bright, but it's still very bright. That's quite cool. Again, it will conserve more battery. Let me try to set the reflector, I guess, and see how it goes. Okay, right now you cannot see probably anything, but we're going to turn on the light. And uh, let's try to power it on and uh, see what it will give us. Let's go to 100. And actually, it looks pretty good. I'm going to try to do something that I'm not sure is a good idea, but I'm going to turn the light towards the camera, or maybe we actually do something else. And if I stand in front of the light, yes, it will be more interesting. And you can see, oh, wow, that's, that's pretty bright. Now, again, I didn't change any setting. If you are interested, we are on 640 ISO. 
f8 and shatter speed of 160. Uh, so yeah, that's quite a huge improvement, that's for sure. Uh, it does spread a little. Uh, honestly, I thought this thing... Okay, this uh, time we, we will actually uh, adjust the settings just so I can try to explain what I mean. So uh, I thought this thing will be much bigger, but as it seems, uh, it is not. But uh, it's still a good thing. Uh, anyways, um, as you can see, it stands pretty much uh, pretty well on my stand. Let me turn it off for a moment. Again, this is my hand and this is my hand now. So yeah, that's quite a difference. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.